Hello, I'm Father Joe Roche of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today we take up from where we left off, beginning with diary entry number 1692. The Creator and the Creature I adore you, Lord and Creator, hidden in the Blessed Sacrament. I adore you for all the works of your hands that reveal to me so much wisdom, goodness, and mercy. O Lord, you have spread so much beauty over the earth, and it tells me about your beauty, even though these beautiful things are but a faint reflection of you, incomprehensible beauty. And although you have hidden yourself and concealed your beauty, my eye, enlightened by faith, reaches you, and my soul recognizes its creator, its highest good, and my heart is completely immersed in prayer of adoration. My Lord and Creator, your goodness encourages me to converse with you. Your mercy abolishes the chasm which separates the Creator from the creature. To converse with you, O Lord, is the delight of my heart. In you I find everything that my heart could desire. Here your light illumines my mind, enabling it to know you more and more deeply. Here streams of graces flow down upon my heart. Here my soul draws eternal life. O my Lord and Creator, you alone, beyond all these gifts, give your own self to me and unite yourself intimately with your miserable creature. Here, without searching for words, our hearts understand each other. Here, no one is able to interrupt our conversation. What I talk to you about, Jesus, is our secret, which creatures shall not know and angels dare not ask about. These are secret acts of forgiveness, known only to Jesus and me. This is the mystery of his mercy, which embraces each soul separately. For this incomprehensible goodness of yours, I adore you, O Lord and Creator, with all my heart and all my soul. And, although my worship is so little and poor, I am at peace, because I know that you know it is sincere, however inadequate. As I was writing the above words, I saw the Lord Jesus leaning over me, and he asked, My daughter, what are you writing? I answered, I am writing about you, Jesus, about your being hidden in the Blessed Sacrament, about your inconceivable love and mercy for people. And Jesus said, Secretary of my most profound mystery, know that yours is an exclusive intimacy with me. Your task is to write down everything that I make known to you about my mercy for the benefit of those who, by reading these things, will be comforted in their souls and will have the courage to approach me. I therefore want you to devote all your free moments to writing. But, O oh Lord, shall I always have a moment, at least a brief one, in which to write? And Jesus answered, it is not for you to think about that. Only do as much as you can, and I will always arrange things so that you will easily be able to do what I ask of you. Today, I was visited by a certain lay person, probably Stanislava Kvietniewska, who has caused me a lot of sorrow and who has abused my goodness, telling many lies. At the first moment I saw her, the blood froze in my veins, because there stood before my eyes all that I had to suffer because of her, although with one word I could have freed myself of them all. And the thought came to me to tell her the truth, firmly and immediately. But at the same moment the mercy of God came before my eyes, and I resolved to act toward her as Jesus would have acted in my place. I started to talk to her gently, and when she expressed the wish to talk to me alone, I then, in a very delicate manner, made known to her, clearly, 
the sad condition of her soul. I saw that she was deeply moved, though she was trying to hide this from me. At that point, a third person came in, and so our heart-to-heart -heart talk came to an end. She asked me for a glass of water and for two other things, which I did willingly. However, had it not been for the grace of God, I would not have been able to act in such a way toward her. When they left, I thanked God for the grace which had supported me during that time. Then I heard the words, I am glad you behaved like my true daughter. Be always merciful as I am merciful. Love everyone out of love for me, even your greatest enemies, so that my heart may be fully reflected in your heart. O Christ, although must much effort is required, all things can be done with your grace. Faustina writes a reflection on her love for our Lord hidden in the Blessed Sacrament. She recognizes through the eyes of faith that he is her creator. She is not afraid to converse with her creator. His goodness encourages her. She receives light and grace from her conversations with him. Jesus gives not only gifts to her, but the gift of his very self to her, the gift of eternal life. Her heart understands Jesus beyond words. Jesus forgives her, her faults, and speaks to her in a secret, very personal way. She writes that Jesus wants to have a personal, a unique relationship with each one of us. His mercy embraces each of us. He wants to converse with us, just as he conversed with Faustina. Jesus asks Faustina to write in her diary about her love and his mercy, his love and mercy for us as he waits for us, hidden in the tabernacle. Faustina then recounts an, uh, uh, an encounter with a woman who had caused her many problems in the past because of her lies that she had told about St. Faustina, and Faustina reacted in a human way when she saw her. She writes that her blood froze in her veins, and she wanted to be very direct with the woman, but she treated her with compassion. She treated her as Jesus would have, and she was able to privately help her to see the sorry state of her soul. Jesus was very pleased with the mercy and the compassion that Faustina had shown her. He says he wants Faustina's heart to be a reflection of his own heart. Faustina had to overcome her human inclinations, and she reacted to the situation like a saint. She writes that great effort is needed, but with the help of Jesus' grace, all things are possible. <laughs>